Hello everyone, Anthrich here again from the Bloody Point. Uh, so this is the first taste of siege combat in Conqueror's Blade, the siege of Shuailong. As you're about to see, I'm going to enter the battle after it's been already started, which it turns out uh, starting a battle early is not a good idea. Uh, these sieges are uh, matches in the sense that they're limited to a certain number of uh, opponents on either side. However, um, it doesn't mean that you can't swap out for fresh people. So uh, it's 15 per side, and uh, if somebody dies, they go on a respawn timer, essentially, where they're kicked out of the battle for a certain amount of time, which means that opens up a slot. So if you have people waiting outside the city, and they're, they're keeping an eye on the battle status, you can pretty much effectively maintain a group of 15 active in the battle. So being my first uh, siege, I was a bit, uh, how shall we say, random in my actions here, but uh, we'll let this play out for a bit and see what happened. If we don't do nothing, we're gonna run out of time. Yeah, we need to push. Get in position. I don't know what these guys are doing. We don't have any communication. Let, let's move into the other team's group. Um, oh, wait. No, we can't because they're, they're me. They're not. They're in the me. Yeah, yeah that's lame. Because they let me build siege towers or something. Be done. It's gonna take a hundred years to break that thing down. Hey, can't we break down their door? Yeah, no, you could, you have to build it, but you can't do that yet. It's not out. So as you just heard, we don't have any uh, siege equipment out. Uh, you can get up the walls via these ladders. You go up to the uh, pre-placed sites and interact with them to deploy them but uh, the defenders can push the ladders away, and that's no bueno. Yeah, they're just instantly nailing down the... We can't do shit right now. Hey, they got Lofon at least. <laughs> I got a headshot with my grenade. <laughs> oh no! So did he. <laughs> There's two can play in that game. I don't know how we're gonna get up there. Is there no. They're damaging the goal, yeah. Let's keep it up there. It's not gonna do anything. Goal, guys. There's almost nothing. Oh yeah, that's the great street. Yeah, they've got a ballista. Oh shit, it is. Oh, they're using a... Move troops, got it, got it, got it, got it. This guy's jumped down. Oh, nice! Goodbye! <laughs> He's gonna get kicked out now. Two troops, guys. Don't go in front. We're fucking firing back. The enemy's out of danger. Nice. Yes. Are you shooting our guy? All right, they're breached. Let's push in. Actually, hold the gate. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta get some mark. Line right, their focus is gonna get pushed in. I just got fucking sniped by the um, siege camp. 
Now, I had been warned that uh, once you die, there's a timer and you can't get back into the battle right away and you should conduct yourself accordingly, but of course, I had forgotten that, so my uh, first moves here are a little bit brazen, keeping that into consideration. I do get into a good position to do something, but I'm not particularly effective or just, you know, woefully... Uh, woefully prepared in the wrong class in the wrong wrong uh, here we go so I get up my intention was to get the guy off the cannon but of course there are archers everywhere and that is bad Okay, so that first attempt did not go so well, but I learned something and that's always a good thing. As you can see, we're still outnumbered. I'm not sure why, because there do seem to be enough people online in the Alliance that's conducting the siege to fill out those slots. Perhaps they're not watching the total closely. I don't really know, but I'm going to jump back in here. Now, uh, the way this works is that you have to choose and bring your units with you. Um, because you're in the field at a, at a hostile holding, you can't repopulate or, or, or heal them or do anything like that locally. So you, you have what you have that you've brought. Yes, sir. So I'm going to charge out again, take another crack at this. We've uh, penetrated inside, so um, we, we don't have to break the walls down again, but uh, our, we're still using the field spawns outside the fortress. There are spawns inside. The supply points act as the spawn locations as well. So a good, a good objective early on here will be to uh, take one of those. Um, as, as you've probably heard in the, in the voice comms and something I've mentioned is that there, there, are, uh, there is not a, a really cohesive communication infrastructure here. There are multiple uh, guilds or companies or houses as they're called. And uh, they're all in their own voice comms for the most part, which makes uh, coordination a bit difficult. Uh, that's, that's pretty common in, in, some, in some games where you have a large uh, member of an alliance and they, they tend to want to keep their comms secure and, and uh, that's understandable, but it does have a practical impact on, on operations like a siege and, and uh, you'll see it later in this video and in a future video how, how that negatively impacts our success. Uh, in any case, uh, we're making the best of what we've got here uh, up on the walls again. Um, I have brought archers this time, and my intention is to get the archers in place up here and take advantage of the high ground that we've uh, that we've won. Unfortunately, that turns out not to be as easy or as effective as I thought. I'm not sure um, if the issues I, I experience and you're about to see are due to the uh, you know uh, beta state of the game or if it's mechanics enforced to disallow certain actions by, you know, attackers versus defenders. But uh, in this particular case, as you heard my fellow exclaim, uh, archers don't seem to fire from this position up on the walls, and, and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, it would have made a big difference, but uh, sometimes you got to uh, you got to deal with it. So let's see how this plays out. All right, so as you saw, that didn't quite work out. My archers would not fire from that position, so I'm going to put them down on the field and see if I can uh, make use of them that way. 
Now, of course, uh, height is an advantage for various reasons. Another advantage with your units uh, compared to other units of the same type or the same general type is that uh, they have levels and you can put points into a skill tree both for the units themselves and for your account in general which means that in some cases an enemy's archers may actually have more range than yours or more uh, damage, uh, armor penetration and so on. So in this case even though in theory my archers should be doing just as much damage as someone else's uh, that doesn't necessarily okay, play out to be the case. Uh, I'm going to start losing units in a moment. Now we're pushing up on an, on the uh, supply point here. I'm going to go up on the walls just to get a better look before running in there. Learn my lesson. Riding uh, blindly into an area is not necessarily a good thing. Take a peek. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to head down. We're going to take the supply point, and that will allow us to respawn inside the walls and swap out units and do various other right things. Now. Making yeah. progress, making progress. I let all my guys die for that. Die bravely. That's all that matters to me that we were able to push up. You shall be done. They just keep resupplying men, that's the thing. Ivan the Greek is here. I'll come and help you, Antwitch. Oh, never mind. All these guys are just gonna run at us. We're not gonna win that. I know. Though they are pushing, we really are getting ground right now. We just don't have enough time. Too many people are holding back. We need to push up more. Nothing's gonna get done just sitting here. Okay, so I'm out of the fight again, having died. And as you can see, uh, yes, even though I'm out of that fight, uh, the whole area is still open war so if the enemy had people here they could attack me you'll also notice i have this wounded debuff with a timer that's what determines whether i can re-enter this particular fight or not i could go to another location i believe with that buff on and fight elsewhere but i don't know that for a fact i haven't tried that speeding through this here i'm going to travel to a nearby uh, friendly holding you probably saw that I uh, had th two of my units were completely de wiped out. I had no units left. Uh, but you can heal some of them up if you go to a friendly territory. And that's what I'm about to do. Units healed, food replenished. There's another battle at a distant holding. And we're going to head over there and try and pick up territory while we wait on the timer. I'm going to 
for the next battle here. That battle will be coming up.